Live. The news on NBC6 at noon starts now. And the announcement comes as residents at John Knox Village, they're getting their first chance to get the vaccine. And that's where NBC6 anchor Carlos Suarez is joining us, breaking down the latest. Take hey, Carlos. Hey, Shelly and Roxy. So the initial group of seniors out here received the first of the two doses earlier this month. And so today the remaining residents here at John Knox Village, they're getting a chance to get the first of the two doses they need in order to be uh, inoculated so that they cannot uh, get the COVID-19 uh, virus. The Senior Care Center has about 700 residents. Now, Walgreens is administering the vaccines at one of three visits here. Now, initially, the pharmacy store chain was supposed to handle the first round of vaccines here at the facility, but a delay forced that the state to allocate some doses to the county health department, who then had the National Guard deliver them in early January. The state has tasked Walgreens and CVS with visiting long-term care facilities across the state to inoculate seniors and staffers. And as we've been reporting, there has been a great deal of frustration and confusion among seniors and their families about whether the state was not only going to have an ample supply of vaccines for the first vaccine, most importantly, it was whether they would have enough for that second dose. We spent a lot of time upfront communicating with individuals so they would understand that we were doing our very best, but that they should approach this with an attitude of gratitude and uh, recognize that it's not as easy to manage 100 to 125 people an hour as they might think. All right, so coming back out live, you're taking a look at the Village Center Auditorium here at John Knox Village, where seniors are at this hour lining up for their appointments to get the first of two vaccines out here. Walgreens insisted uh, or has made clear uh, from the very beginning that the state has uh, told them that they do have enough of a supply for that second vaccine. We're told that Walgreens will come back here in early February and then for a third time, they'll be back out here in early March as well. We're live at this hour in Papado Beach. I'm Carlos Suarez, NBC6 News. All right, Carlos, thanks for that.